summer. It is my favorite season of the year. But it can also be a disaster when it comes to dressing up and looking stylish. Because with the super hot and humid weather, there are just too many things that can go wrong. But don't you worry, my boys, because in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my top seven biggest summer mistakes to avoid. Make sure to stick all the way till the end because I may have a bonus tip for you. So without further ado, Let's begin. Coming at you at number one, the biggest summer mistake that anybody can make is wearing dark colors. I know, right? Wearing black, it is super cool, super bad boy, mysterious. But black and any dark colored clothes, they're just heat magnets. If you want to stay as cool as possible in the hot summer heat, then lighter colors are your friend. I love to wear white in the summer because white it is the most cooling color but it doesn't have to be white right it can be other fun colors such as your light blue light pink summer is the best time to experiment with different colors spice things up and have fun okay now on to the biggest summer mistake number two and that is wearing too much cotton i know i know everybody loves cotton but cotton it is just the worst when it comes to breathability and whipping away of moisture because cotton can really soak up the sweat and stick it onto your body and it will take a long long time for it to dry up and evaporate so instead of cotton try some linen right or at least a linen blend. You can also try athletic and performance fabrics such as a Nike Dry Fit and the Uniqlo Air Rhythm technology. These allow the sweat to evaporate more easily, keeping your body dry and cooling all the time. Linen is also my favorite option because it is just the coolest fabric in the universe of fabrics. It is super lightweight, super breathable, doesn't soak up your sweat and it dries easily. Just take note that linen tends to wrinkle easily easily but I kind of like it right because it gives off that super casual summer vibes okay now moving on to the biggest summer mistake number three and that is not wearing any accessories now we don't get much options to layer when it comes to summer because it's super hot so the only way to spice things up and add visual interest to your outfit is to wear some accessories. I know when it comes to accessories, you might be overwhelmed. There are just so many you can wear, like your necklaces, your rings, your bracelets. But the easiest way to accessorize is to simply wear a watch. And if you wanna, you can maybe add a ring or a necklace. Just don't overdo it, right? When it comes to accessories, less is more. Here's a pro tip, right? When it comes to summer, try to avoid leather straps. Instead, try some metal bracelets or some nylon straps to keep it cool. Okay, now moving on to the biggest summer mistake number four, and that is wearing super tight clothes. The more skin tight and form fitting your clothes are, the more stuffy and the warmer you're gonna feel. A looser fit will allow more air to pass through your skin, allowing better ventilation and more breathing room for your skin. I did a video on how to look super fabulous rocking oversized clothing. I'll link it down in the description below if you wanna check it out. Okay, now on to the biggest summer mistake number five and that is wearing pants that are too long. Likewise, you don't want to wear too much extra fabric on your body that can trap heat and reduce ventilation. So choose pants that are shorter, like your cropped trousers or jeans that fit just right. If your pants are too long, you could bring them to a tailor or hem the pants on your own. I did a video on how to hem your pants like a pro without using a sewing machine. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. Or if you are afraid of the hassle, you could simply cuff them up super easy where you can just cuff them up once and then two times it makes a whole lot of difference because it allows for better breathability around your ankle area now moving on to the biggest summer mistake number six and that is wearing socks that are too long or too thick. Which doesn't make sense if your goal is to stay cool in the hot summer heat, right? I pretty much only wear no-show socks in the summer. I wear it with my sneakers, I wear it with my running shoes, I wear it with my loafers, I wear it with pretty much every kind of shoes. Not only does it give a more clean look, but most importantly, it keeps your feet and ankle cool. Another pro tip for you, if you don't want to wear socks you can totally go sockless with 
some sick looking espadrilles. I did a whole video all about how to look super fabulous with some espadrilles. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. Okay, now moving on to the bigger summer mystic number seven and that is rocking a hairstyle that is too long. It is super straightforward. The longer your hair is, the more heat it's gonna trap on top of your head. And if you wanna style them, the longer hair will require more hair products. And when you sweat in the hot summer heat, it will just melt and just flow down your face. And it is just nasty business. So summer is the best time of the year to rock some shorter hairstyles. I used to shave my sides and my back and leave a little bit of hair on top. And as you can see, I just bust my hair last week. And it feels absolutely phenomenal. So if you want to know how to cut your own hair, I did a video on that as well. I'll link them down in the description below. Now you don't have to totally bust your hair, right? But if you want to try something different, something more effortless, big boy ruggedness, definitely give it a shot. Okay, last but not least, here comes the bonus summer mistake and that is having too much body hair. Now, I'm a relatively hairy dude, right? So speaking from experience, when it comes to body hair, less is more. Because the fact is, the more body hair you have, especially around your pubic area, the more heat and the more body odor it's gonna trap. And the last thing you wanna happen in the hot summer temperature is to have a carpet covering your body underneath that clothes. So what I like to do is I don't shave, right? Because shaving, it is super irritating to your skin and it will lead to ingrown hairs, which is super nasty. So I like to trim it down with a hair trimmer, right? Just tame the bees a little bit. If you want to find out about my manscaping routine, I did a video on how to maintain your body hair and manscape like a pro. I'll link it down in the description below if you want to check it out. And that is it for today's video. If you love these tips, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me to let me know yo Evan super dope tips man make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't done so already have a great day y'all and I'll see every single one of you in my next video bam